Hi guys, for today's video, uh, we are going to dive into this massive stationary planner haul. So if this video is for you, uh, it's gonna be probably nice and long, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you come to watch all of like my new items from Dollar Tree hauls and you don't typically just kind of want to see things you've already seen, this might not be the video for you. But here's the reason why I wanted to do this video. So there are videos that I love watching on YouTube that just makes me feel really cozy and I'll actually watch them over and over and over again. Just kind of like having my one video that's a go-to for me comment down below and let me know what video is a go-to for you and i wanted to just kind of create something like that for my channel so we're bypassing the deep thoughts today i know you guys love coming to my channel for that as well but that's just for today and if you just love hauls you love stationary supplies you love planner supplies and if you love dollar tree then this video is for you and i hope that it becomes a really cozy video for you something that you just love and enjoy and want to watch again so that's the goal for today and let's go ahead and dive in because as you can see i went up into my craft room and pulled a ton of things out so that we can just see everything together i could definitely turn this into a series because i did not pull everything in my collection so if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up so that i know you want to see more of this it's how i know you know what videos interest you guys so let's go ahead and dive in Stickers are my favorite things to shop at Dollar Tree and as I was pulling all of these stickers together it honestly reminded me why I buy them like I do because once you get them all together and you can see a collection of stickers you've been buying over the years you can truly see how amazing some of the ones have been coming in through Dollar Tree. So these are actually uh, planner sticker books. Uh, yeah so they're absolutely amazing and one single dollar. I probably have more of these in my craft room, but I'm not fully organized just yet. But these are the ones that I found to pull out for this video. I'm not gonna flip through all of them. But I just wanna give you guys a general idea of you know, what they look like. The front page is super cute. And then you can see all of the sticker options they give you to plan with. So if you haven't started planning, you could definitely start off by getting some things at Dollar Tree. And in this video, you'll see, you know, that you can buy binders and, and all kinds of things to start your own planner, um, planner stuff. Uh, binders and things in case you don't know if you really want it to become like a hobby for you and then maybe once you kind of feel like you love it uh, definitely check out Etsy as well because there are so many amazing stickers and all kinds of things for planners but yeah so super pretty you can see all of the um, boxes here that you can write like to-do lists, today's plans, goals, notes, you know, moods. If you want to track your moods, that's another thing. If you aren't, if you don't feel like you're very good at drawing, but you want to be like into bullet journals, which is more freehand, you could still use stickers to help you along the way. So anyways, that's what that looks like. And then they've got a little llama one. I mean, look at those, the fonts on these. Absolutely amazing. And they've got a little unicorn one. See, this is why you always have to look through stickers. So for example, if you're just not into 
the unicorns and the rainbows. I mean, this second page is amazing. Look at the gold foil, absolutely beautiful. You've got little coffee icons in here. Yeah, you even have like weather stickers, the weekend banners. You guys, this is all very on trend, I guess you could say, um, with what bigger brands Etsy sellers are doing with their stickers. So Dollar Tree knows what's up. Um, yeah, so look how beautiful this one is. If black and gold is your thing, so pretty. And then a little unicorn one. Is this a dupe? Yeah, it's a dupe. I love these stickers as well. They do have like a pop-up quality to them. So if you only like working with flat stickers, you probably won't like these, but you can probably move a little pop-up features because there's still the image, the flat image behind it. But I mean, these are just absolutely gorgeous for a dollar. Dollar Tree also does this collection where it makes it look like a chalkboard, which is really cool too. This is one of the newer ones, by the way. This one too has that chalk look, this little house right here absolutely love i mean you could just do so many different themes like you could take these two and in your planner you know in your bullet journal you can do a under the sea theme little mermaid theme and that would be really pretty they do a lot of florals as well which i like and they do like these little garden rain boots ones too Again, this isn't even a fraction of my stickers. If you need like a full sticker inventory video, I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, and again, like I mentioned earlier, if you want a part two to a video like this with stationery, let me know. I love when they do vehicles like this, cute little moped, and then all the beautiful hydrangeas, the little teacup too. Oh, so shabby chic. And then this one I've been mentioning for a while. It's one of my favorites. I actually have several of these. I probably have like four or five of these. It's just this truck selling the flowers with this awning is so pretty. I absolutely love this one. This one is still being sold. So you could possibly find this in your stores. Then Crafter Squares have some that look like this, which they are more of a pop-up than the other ones. You can definitely see like the label difference as well. So I pulled all of these into this video so you can see cute little dogs and then the little dancer ones. Sorry if the angle's kind of weird. I I probably need to figure out what the best angle is to film this video, but let me know your thoughts on the angle too so that I can just make it more enjoyable for you guys to see. But you can just tell like the whole collection. I mean, look at this one. Oh my gosh. And the thing about Dollar Tree is, you know, sometimes when stickers go, you may not see them again. I will say that there have been stickers that I hauled like five years ago that I still see, but then there are some where you just, you really won't see them again. Super pretty, this big camera I love. And look at all of these. Absolutely love that. We even have some food ones, some sushi, some eggs and a banana and avocado. Ooh, so pretty. And then we have more of a breakfasty one. I mean, you guys, this is a dollar. Oh, here's another one of these. Another one of the food ones. And the wine one, I remember finding this one. I was so impressed. I love the coffee and the lemonade. So these I piled into some of like the more transparent ones, the ones that don't have like a color to their background and then some other ones that are just kind of random. These are the Jot stickers where they did something that looks very planner-like which is pretty awesome. Anytime there's planner stickers at Dollar Tree, I'm telling you guys, it is a steal because it can get expensive to plan. Completely worth it in my opinion, if it's definitely like up your alley and you know, and it's just relaxing for you and very enjoyable. Um, and then we have ones like these, 
You can see the Jot label is different from the Crafter Square, but both of them are under Dollar Tree. This one right here with the oranges, I've never seen Dollar Tree do a sticker like that. I love this one too. And then the watering can, super pretty. If you're into pocket letters, you definitely probably use a lot of Dollar Tree products as well. And then we have some that look like this with the little transparent, um, just so you guys can see a little bit better. I love this one for the bubbles. So cute. And then this one has been around for a while. They've always done like a ballerina one, but this might be like an update to like the design of the sticker. Here is one of my OG favorites. I have so many of these, it's insane. But I think this one's an update to the one that they've done before. And then the little robots too is another favorite of mine. I love the clear ones are probably my favorite. And you guys, these are such good quality stickers too. Not only are they cute, but they're the quality of them are stellar. Once I finally start getting the craft room going, which by the way, just a quick update, I did a design video um, on my vlog. I'll link that down below. Um, but I did order the glass desk that I want. So the next step is the rug, which I'm gonna get soon. And then I need to pop into Ikea and start looking at furniture. So as soon as I get all that going, I'll be able to obviously sort all my things. I say that because I know I have way more uh, stamps from Dollar Tree than these four. But listen, you know, it's still a mess right now, but once Dollar Tree started doing clear stamps, I was so shook. I, I can't even like begin to describe it. So, you know, you could get like black ink, st stamp these into black ink, and then you can color it in, which is so amazing with markers and all the things. Pull you guys out a little bit more like that. These are always going to be amazing, especially if you like more flat stickers like I talked about earlier. This is going to be for you for sure. You've got like timer stickers, you know, like if you wanna track like your water intake. <clears throat> here, look, there's water bottles here too. So they have themes as well. This one has more of a workout theme. So super cute, even like the words up here don't give up yeah absolutely love this they put so much thought into these this one's upside down but this one has like an overall theme if that makes sense so there's you know grocery shopping all kinds of things and then the back of these have like really cute stickers fun like popcorn i love the coffee mugs but yeah, so these are absolutely amazing. This one says coffee first right here, which I absolutely love those. And then you get little stars and hearts. And this one's very, very pretty. And I love how they color coordinate all of these as well. So here's this one. This one's just kind of yeah, not much of a theme, but there's just birthday ones, which this is good, right? Because they give you so many different options to help you plan. So, you know, you can get all these birthday ones, go through your calendar for the year, mark all your birthdays down. And then they've got little money icons. You can label for like payday or paying bills. <clears throat> this one has a seasonal theme, which is probably my one of my favorites you can see like the Halloween stuff and then you get all of these colorful little banners and you can see how they kind of like sectioned like Christmas down here Halloween summer 4th of July St. Patty's Day yeah that one's a gold a gold find for me yeah just a Typical standard one. You've got the grocery cart, like haircuts, working out, deadlines. See the coffee. A lot of functional stickers, basically. 
carpool, girls night, date night, pay bills. Here's another holiday one. And you can definitely pause the screen if you want to. This one has another workout one. So it's got like the word yoga and gym, swim and run. The colors are nice and bright. You've got the scale if you're tracking like your weight. And then these all say like breakfast, dinner. This one's really cool because you can track how many you know, like whatever of water bottles you're drinking. This one, just like teacher. I think this one's a teacher theme. There's like teacher words on here. Yeah, these little notebooks are so cute. The paintbrushes. This one has test on there. Really, really cute. This one is another gym one. You can see like the different colors that they've been putting out. Yeah, I'm so glad. Honestly, this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video because I wanted to have a reason to pull out all of these stickers specifically so that I can see how many dupes I was getting because I wasn't sure, you know, I was going to Dollar Tree and going, oh my God, they kind of all look the same. I don't know if I have this one or not. So, I would pick them up anyway, just kind of hoping, you know, that I was getting some new ones. And I can definitely tell that I've been getting some new ones. So this one's really cute. Little donut theme. I love the lighter colors. There's like dentist. There's like a little tooth on here. Airplanes. Yeah. This one has like a food, dinner, family dinner, meal prepping, shopping list. This one's really fun. I love a little burger. So cute. Oh yeah, then you get all the food, little shopping carts here at the top. I love the strawberries. And then this one, just kind of like a general one. glasses, the coffee cups, super cute. Another general one. I love these stickers right here. Yeah, this color combo is really pretty too. I also like the cameras on here, right here. The cars are cute, the popsicles are cute. That's a really good one. And then this last one, this last one's just kind of summary, like vacation kind of. You see like the camper and the station wagon. This station wagon, I've never even seen until just now. That is hilarious, I love it. And it definitely makes me, makes me think of um, summer vacation with the Griswolds when they go to Wally World. Yeah, definitely has adventures, traveling. You get the hot air balloons, palm trees, super fun. I mean, look how many of these. I've been collecting. Next up are the stencils. This is another great pickup if you are into bullet journaling but you don't like your freehand drawing. Stencils are a great way to do bullet journaling. That's one of the biggest reasons why I feel like I've kind of struggled with bullet journaling and getting started. It's because I just don't think I draw very well. I know it just takes practice and I can do better. Um, but just to kind of start off with, stencils are amazing for that. And Dollar Tree sells a bunch. They even do the alpha stencils, which is great too. Especially if you're just kind of like training, um, you know, how to uh, calligraphy and, and all the ways, you know, to write in a bullet journal. These are gonna be a great 
a great assistance for those. And then we have the binders. You can definitely get these and start your own planner binder as well. I believe these are equivalent to like the A5 size. You can see all of the beautiful, fun colors. Now Dollar Tree, I don't know if they've been putting out more of these binders, but I know that they typically do. Sometimes they just don't restock them constantly, so you gotta be on the lookout. These aren't actually all the colors that I found. There's still some more upstairs. There's like a mint green one, but just to show you guys, you know, that you could definitely start off a little fuzzy. This yellow one is so pretty. And then you could buy the inserts, um, which Dollar Tree is also done too, by the way. And yeah, you can fully customize your own planner binders as well and then you can have you know binders for different things if you're really into that you know like household chores like just like your personal life maybe goals and dreams or something you know and maybe like a pet binder another thing that i love about dollar tree are all of the items they give you for storing things so these little expandable file folders these are pretty recent i did like a pastels haul and I absolutely love these. The white flap is beautiful. You can definitely store stickers in here, you know, just different cuts of scrap of paper, just anything that you kind of have like as a leftover could go in here. You could also use these as recipe cards. Put your recipe cards in here. I believe these are like equivalent to a four by six. And then they even have like the snap closure, which I really like, and the colors are beautiful. I've actually have added stuff like this to a binder before. So for example, okay, if we were to take like, and do like a pink on pink moment, you could buy some Velcro stickers, which Dollar Tree has. I almost pulled it for this video, but I didn't. But you could take Velcro stickers and add them to here and to like the side like this. And then this hangs on. To here and then you have like a little way to store extra things i've done that before as well these storage containers are also awesome from dollar tree we've got this one with the little yellow lid you also have to be on the watch out for these because they also don't stock these too often um, but they but they do typically keep like putting these out they have these in different colored lids. I love this yellow one, so bright and fun. And you can store all kinds of things in here that's crafty, you know, your beads or um, washi, yeah. Crayons if you wanted to, like all kinds of things. And then there's this, which is a completely different label within Dollar Tree, which is Tool Bench. And this is found in a different aisle apart from like all the stationary stuff. But this would be great for organizing things in your craft room as well. So if you're definitely like into maybe making bracelets, you could store all your beads and and tools in here to make that, you know, or like not just bracelets, but like if you're into jewelry making, this is probably a good little container and it's just a dollar. This next item is pretty old. I've had it for a few years now from Dollar Tree and I haven't seen them put anything out like this in a while. But it's basically like a little zipper pouch. I mean, it's really it. The design is so cute. All of your, you know, planner supplies in and like carry it around the house if you're like maybe wanting to plan like at a kitchen table and not in your craft room. You know, this would be a good item to like move your stuff from room to room. You know, put all your pens, all your stuff in here, you know, that you need to plan with washi so yeah so i'm just kind of hoping dollar tree does something like this again but just again to, to highlight videos like this where it's like you get to see old gems from dollar tree and you kind of hope you know that they do something like this again pretty much almost every trip i go i always get some sort of like pen or marker or something and i just love them you guys there's only been very few that I felt like the quality were pretty poor, but 
almost like nine out of ten times the pen the pens at Dollar Tree are amazing so these I actually was gonna do in a care package for my daughter but I didn't end up sending these specifically but look how cute they are they look so beautiful rainbow colors so fun these will look really great out on a desk just because they just have like really vibrant colors um, so there's that then I pulled out these jot markers the du the double-sided um yeah tips so these are a little bit thicker these are a little bit thinner this is absolutely epic and amazing for dollar tree to do love it and the color selections are really good <clears throat> then we have these pens that i just have like little glitter detail to them so pretty if i had to put like a favorite basket idea using all Dollar Tree stuff, it would probably be like a basket themed for somebody who loves planning. That would probably be my favorite basket to do because all of these would be beautiful in a gift basket. Then Dollar Tree does fashion pens like this. They sell them in a three pack and they have really fun prints. These are actually very recent, so you could potentially find these. They have little... Uh, this one's cute because it's coffee themed. Love this one. And then this one gives me like barbershop vibes. It's probably this one right here that's doing that, but I really love the simplicity of these two. And then just to show you guys some random ones. Yeah, the thing with, with pens at Dollar Tree is they're always changing as well. So you may never like see this set again. So if you're like me and you collect things at Dollar Tree, comment down below and let me know what specifically it is. For me, it's definitely, well, for me, it's the whole store. Like, let's face it, you know, gift bags, pens, stickers, all the things. But just to show you, you know, how big this is. I mean, all of this can just fit in here. crazy here are some more containers that you can use for your stationary supplies you can put tapes and washi and all kinds of things in here when Dollar Tree put out this color combo or these colors together I was so shook I actually have not seen them since but you could still you know maybe see them at your stores you also have to be on the lookout for some really cute tape dispensers as well. These just have like that neon look. Even the tape itself is not, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not like clear tape. Definitely has like a holographic style to them. Super unique, really fun and great for planning. And then they also put out like paper clips. These are probably one of my favorites that they've done with the pastels. And then we've got these index cards that they did with the little spiral notebook. Absolutely love these. I love the solid colors. These are gonna be great for gift baskets. They're gonna be great for care packages. I absolutely love doing color themes. I don't know why I'm addicted to that, but like that is absolutely crazy. So super pretty. I'm actually gonna be doing an orange theme for my daughter. I'm probably gonna send her this one. Another item that I think is great for stationaries are the little trinket trays that Dollar Tree puts out. Like what? How freaking cute. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit here so you can see that a little bit better. But yeah, you know, you can put um, little, you know, paper clips um, or just have them as like purely decorative in your space. When Dollar Tree put out these micro mini notebooks, I was never more shook in my life. They're definitely a dupe to the Happy Planner micro planners. Um, they're, I think, the exact same size. I have one from Happy Planner. I just don't know where it is. But even the discs are basically the exact same. You can see that they have like a little heart cut out, which is so pretty. You can even switch out your discs 
between these little notebooks if you wanted to. So like if you wanted the llama to have pink discs, you could just flip them out. But yeah, these are so amazing. Um, and just to show you guys, they have these little green sheets. I'm not like a fan of the colored sheets, but you can make your own. You can cut out, you know, like regular spiral paper and then get your little um, hole punch that matches these. And there you go. And also, if you're kind of like wondering, like, why would anybody like these little baby tiny planners? Just YouTube and see how people use them and plan in them. It's just really cute. It may or may not be for you, but I'm um, just to like give you guys some ideas. There's definitely videos out on YouTube on that, like the Happy Planner Micro Planner. So, and Dollar Tree put some out. Like I'm telling you, Dollar Tree watches what's going on in the planner community. They definitely know, so. And this last set, which unfortunately I have not seen at Dollar Tree for a while. I'm kind of hoping that they do another series like this again. I'm sure they will, but they're just not putting it out enough for me. I don't know. But listen, it's a dollar. I'm sure it's all, you know, money and profits related or however all that works. But these are inserts for a planner see how they're blank so you can add whatever day you can start off whatever year you want which honestly i think this is the way to go i think doing like predated calendars for stuff like this is not a very smart idea they even give you like the refills for just the sheets and then we have these that are like the weekly so this is the monthly okay this is the monthly the month at a glance these are the weeks this is just notebook paper. Then we've got, and I'm gonna put all this together in a binder next, just to kind of show you guys. We've got dividers, we've got more folders, more dividers, and then this is a whole nother little set too, by the way. Wait, yeah, so I feel like this all kind of goes together. And then they even made like an elastic book band, which I thought was really amazing. And then these, internet pass, sorry, I think you're too zoomed in. Uh, internet passwords, errands and chores. I love that they made these. And then they even did like washi strips to match the collections, which honestly like really surprised me. All right, so let's go ahead and just set these up into a binder and let's do the pink one. So just to kind of show you guys. Okay, so. Okay. So we could do this. And then we could put in some dividers. Maybe some folders. And then we go in for the week. I feel like this set matches um, this. I think this kind of goes together. So let's just get, let's pull out um, two of these dividers and then like this. And then we even have these. Let's 
try to separate them. Then I feel like these are some of the washies and you can just kind of put them in here like this. All right, and just to do a flip through, so you've got your month at a glance, tied you over for years, right? Cause you only need like 12. And then another folder. Got a little folder there. And then internet passwords and stuff. Got the little washi in here. And then we've got the uh, week, weekly spreads. And then another divider, and we have just a note. Do all kinds of note taking here. And then these are like errands, chores, appointment lists. But yeah, this is all from Dollar Tree. You've just created yourself a cute little binder. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to pull out some of them and display them on the table so you can see it all in one shot. But yeah, this is just how amazing Dollar Tree truly is. I'm not at all sponsored. I just love this store so much. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something new about, you know, just overall, just kind of like seeing a collection, um, a collective haul from things, you know, over the course of time, just kind of putting it all into one video, you kind of get a glimpse um, at how great these items are when they come through Dollar Tree. So anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.